So far, it's been a relatively uncertain, inconclusive session on the broad London metal exchange base metals prices. Initially firmer in Asia, markets have drifted back a little bit since then. Most are still in the plus column as we go into the afternoon session, but business levels not too high, and there is some short term uncertainty in the market, as we say. So looking at the metals, we've seen the copper market did get above $7,100 per tonne. It's fallen back below that level, but it's still trading at about $7,070, $7,075, about $25 to $30 up on the day. And it's somewhere above those lows yesterday, which were near $7,000 a tonne, lowest for seven weeks. Aluminium, same story, trading above 7,100 dollars per tonne but its somewhere above those lows yesterday which were near 7000 dollars a tonne lowest for 7 weeks aluminium struggling a little bit, it has to be said, around about $1,855 a tonne, down a, t down a tad on the day. In the case of aluminium and to a certain extent in copper, warehouse stock increases have weighed on the market. Otherwise, it's the short term uncertainty that's been set prices as dampened down sentiment, short term macroeconomic fundamentals are challenging, price volatility is creeping into the market. We saw a sell off earlier in the week. Today, a little bit of covering coming through in some of the metals like nickel, where prices at one stage hit a four year low this morning. Very close to $14,000 a ton, up about $200 in that level now. As we say, some short covering coming in. But the rest of the day, there is some important US data coming out very, very shortly. Producer prices, industrial production, and consumer sentiment. Given that it's the end of the week, that's likely to impact on the other markets, equities and currencies, and have a feed through here into the base metals. But for the short term at least, it looks like the price direction is downwards. This is Martin Hayes for Fast Markets on the floor of the